was good, man. Got another indicator for today by the name of Guilty Norm. That's a good indicator, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's uh, I didn't use this in um in one of my algorithms, but that's a good indicator. I'm not gonna lie with you. So you can see this indicator from the start. It has um, long term. It's, it's like based on the long term trend. It doesn't have a lot of um, fake signals and all of that. It's definitely C2, bro. If you use this as a C1, you weird man. You have <laughs> hella weird man but listen look it gives you early signals we got a sell over here bro that's very early all right then we got a buy here that's not very good all right sell and the buy again i'm not sure you're picking by the way i'm giving all the bad all the good signals all right so you can see buy sell it, it has sometimes like bad uh, fake signals like this one you can see hold on, like this one but yeah look it held the buy signal until here it gave it like a fake fake out something like that a buy a fake out here again a buy look this sale is very early for indicator like this this is a loss sell buy sell kept the sale that's a win Look, kept the sell all the way, all the way until here, and that is very fucking early, man. Using it as a zero line, by the way, that's very early, all right? It kept the buy until here when the market is a little bit choppy, you know. If you have a volume indicator, a baseline, everything like that, all the components, uh, an NFX algorithm should have. Uh, you you wouldn't get into all of these bad signals you'll get into this one that's very early and very good and it kept the buy signal see didn't give the sell signal here or here it just kept the buy signal from this candle until here it just keeps going bro just keeps going so yeah that's the default settings by the way we can change the setting let's put a 200 see what, what what that's gonna do that's gonna hold on hmm, okay we got um a sell signal here look it's pretty early all right uh it it didn't give those fake out signals and it still gets you in early man this in, in my opinion that's a hidden gem bro if you can find a way to trade with this indicator man this is going to be a hell of a good indicator for you man listen i'm making 2020 the best year of your life man i give you good ass indicators man i'm telling you you lucky you found this channel bro i swear to god okay man look look it gives you good entry signals early sometimes it gives you a fake out but with all of these wins let me tell you <laughs> It, it don't matter man, it do not matter It do not matter, it do not matter Alright bro Look, this buy signal pretty early I'm not gonna lie with you, pretty pretty early alright And it kept this sell signal It ignored this candle, this big ass candle Your C1 or your C2, let's be honest It would have reacted to this one Your volume indicator, everything would have been reacted to this one Even your best line probably But this indicator, it, did, it does not give a fuck it's like, you know, Rick from Rick and Morty, he does not give a fuck, man. Yeah, bro, look at this. A buy signal, and it kept going, bro. Oh, my God, man. It just keeps going, going and going and going. Yeah, man, that was it. We can change the setting. Let's put it at 250. 250. Let's put it at 350, all right? Boom. Look at this shit, man. It did react to this candle. But look at this shit, man. Yeah. See? It's it, it's a lot smoother. It gets you in later, but it's a lot smoother, man. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, man. Hold on. Let's see what these do. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. It's a good indicator overall. You're lucky to find this indicator, man. To find this indicator, I mean. You lucky as hell, man. I'm telling you, bro. But yeah, man, that's it. 
polar actually I want to try something I want to put a, a 36 moving average over the indicator like I always do and we're gonna see how it works hold on all right we're back we put the 36 moving average over it and I change the settings a little bit put a 3 instead of the 1 but actually hold on we're gonna keep the 1 right look we got a sell here then a buy here then a sell here a buy here but you know this this signals ain't good that's a loss that's a loss that's a loss probably all of it's a loss but then we got a good sell a good buy not a good signal over here as you can see that's a good buy but that's a fake out signal like right here you can see but if you have another indicator to filter this very good very good you can see buy ignoring all of this let's say another one that filters sell very good indicator man i'm telling you bro i'm hyping this up man i be i'm hyping this up for no reason but actually for a reason bro this indicator is hella good man what am i talking about bro listen i think i'll you know what actually bro when i'll start doing algorithms i think i'll try to put this into an algorithm because that's a good indicator i actually fuck with this indicator a lot i have this indicator so funny story like i have a lot of um folders right i have medium folders like medium indicator because I, i've tested them right so the results are like medium worst and the best indicators this one was in the worst uh, indicator be because when i started to test indicators i didn't really know what to looking for so i thought this indicator was trash because it didn't have a lot of signals right but i didn't know nothing about uh filtering right filtering and all of that c2 and c1 i mean i did know but i thought like c2 should be slower but i didn't know why i didn't know shit right so this was in my worst folder then when i was started to you know look through the indicator because i, I found a lot of uh volume good volume indicators a lot of volume indicators bro because i have like 400 volume indicators but every every site you send me probably lo looks for a volume indicator on that side every time bro. i swear to god bro i, I probably know every site for volume indicators for forex indicators overall so yeah man this indicator i um put it on the back on the um, testing folder because i'm still testing it i'm not still testing it but i'm still gonna test it like uh the win rate and uh everything like that i'm gonna test it but yeah this is a good indicator you should try to test it i didn't i didn't test it yet like on the five pairs but i will and as soon as I make the spreadsheet, this gonna be on the spreadsheet. Believe me, this gonna be on the spreadsheet. Every indicator that I find good, right, I'm gonna put on the spreadsheet, right? Uh, maybe I'll think about. It. Maybe I'll put my own spreadsheet with a lot of indicators. But believe me, there's a lot of fucking indicators, man. From baselines to confirmation to volume to algorithms. Actually, bro, I got algorithm there. So, y'all, if I don't know, man. If I'm high or something, maybe I'll be good enough to give you that, bro. But I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll, I don't think so. Like, maybe in the near future. Maybe. So, yeah, man. That's it. That's a good indicator. You test it for yourself. Do everything that's needed to do. And yeah, uh, once again, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't listen to me and everything, everything like that. <sighs> yeah, man. I'm out of breath. My throat is dry. I'm going to drink some water. Hold on. How the fuck do YouTubers talk, bro? I don't understand, man. How the fuck do YouTubers talk? Like, I've been talking for what? Uh, eight minutes, and my, my throat is already dry, man. But yeah, that was it. Good confirmation indicator. It's gonna go to my confirmation playlist. Um, maybe I'll even start to make like bad playlists, bad confirmation playlists, and good and medium, like everything, like I have it on my uh, spreadsheet, all right? So that was it, man. You let me know if you want, I don't know, volume indicators because all of the videos I've made are just about confirmation for the moment. If you want me to go into volume indicators, I got a lot of those. Let me know, man. And it's done. Alright, man. See you later.